Hello again, and uh, welcome again to our daily gospel reflection on this Friday on the solemnity of the most sacred heart of Jesus. So we begin in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. This time we listen to the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus spoke this parable to the scribes and Pharisees. What man among you with a hundred sheep, losing one, would not leave the ninety-nine in the wilderness and go after the missing one till he find it? And when he found it, would he not joyfully take it on his shoulders? And then, when he got home, call together his friends and neighbors. Rejoice with me, he would say. I have found my sheep that was lost. In the same way, I tell you, there will be more rejoicing in heaven over one repentant sinner than over 99 virtuous men who have no need of repentance. The Gospel of the Lord. There would be more rejoicing in heaven over one repentant sinner than over 99 virtuous men who have no need of repentance. Among the uniqueness of the teachings of Jesus was his strong message that God cares for every single one of us and the entire creation. While the popular and common understanding is that God loves only those who are good, Jesus gave a radical message saying that God loves even those whom we think to be unworthy of his love. The parable of the lost sheep illustrates this. While it doesn't sound practical to be celebrated, celebrating over just one lost but found sheep, we find it wonderful to know that our God cares for each one of us, even if we get lost along our journey at times. Central to the most sacred heart of Jesus, is his care and compassion to the outcast and the needy. Throughout his public ministry, his inauguration of the kingdom of God revolved around showing compassion to the people around him, especially the outcast. This is not to say that God loves only the outcast and the needy. This is rather to say that in our neediness and our lowliness, we encounter the divine love. Jesus has illustrated this through his public ministry. As we celebrate then the solemnity of the most sacred heart of Jesus today, we reflect not only on how he really made each one of us feel special in the eyes of God, but also reflect on how we ourselves can show care and compassion to others around us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thank you very much, and have a wonderful day.